Sure. We're going to begin this hour, of course, with Queen Elizabeth. You just saw her a minute ago greeting the people on the opening day of her Platinum Jubilee. This is what they call the money shot. Everybody's been waiting to see when is she coming out, who is she coming out with, who will be on the balcony, who will not be on the balcony. The Queen had said earlier that she wanted to include just the uh, working members of the royal family. So that's why you see Prince Charles and yeah. his wife, Camilla. Yeah, let's just listen. The crowd, oh, we just cut to a shot of, the, of, of a flyover. Of a flyover. The crowd was welcoming her with cheers and yes. claps, hoots and hollers. Of course. Because, oh, look at little Louis. Because <laughs> she is so beloved. And there's his mother, uh, Catherine's, I don't know what she's saying to Louis. Just look up in the sky, darling, because they have a big flyover. It's all a tribute to the queen. And look at the queen. She's very engaged in this moment. You know, there was some question as to how much of the, how much would she be able to participate in the ceremonies, and right. she is there on the on the balcony. That's nice. Yeah. This traditional display is the following of the, this traditional display always follows the annual military parade in London. It's called the Trooping the Color. But this time it has a little extra meaning because it's part of the celebration of the Queen's 70-year reign. Holly Williams is there. She's along the parade route. Holly, good morning to you. You've got a great seat. I wish I was there for this. Good morning to you. That's right. I can hear the plane screaming overhead. Gail, when the Queen just appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the second time this morning a few moments ago, she was met with a giant cheer by the thousands of people who've gathered here to celebrate her 70 years on the throne. She's dressed in, in light blue or lavender. It's difficult to tell which. We know that she loves bright colours and she is carrying a walking stick. We know that she's had mobility issues in recent months. She's been joined on that balcony uh, by other members of the royal family for this military fly pass that you can hear overhead, including Prince Charles, heir to the throne, his son Prince William, his wife Kate, and their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. We've already seen those three children earlier today riding in an open-top carriage, also met with massive cheers. The mood here is jubilant. This Platinum Jubilee is really being seen in this country as a giant thank you by the nation to the Queen, who remains massively popular at the age of 96. Other events this weekend include a pop concert here at Buckingham Palace on Saturday night, headlined by Diana Ross and Queen with Adam Lambert. Now, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan are also here for the celebrations, and it will be her first public appearance in the UK since they moved to the US. We understand that the Queen will be holding a lunch for members of the royal family later on today, and we assume that Harry and Meghan will be there. Gail? That we hear the flyover. I assume they're going to be there, too. I know Prince William is on the balcony, too, right, Holly? We just can't see him in the shop. But isn't Prince William there? I, be I yeah, believe they, he is. I'm, yeah, I'm looking out of the Yeah, can they pull out the shot just eye. a little bit? Yeah. I believe he's there, Gail. And we saw we him earlier on... We saw him earlier, of course, on horseback, taking part in the, in the review of the troops alongside his father, Prince Charles. All right. Ali, stay with us just a minute because we want to chat with you some more about this celebration. Let's bring in Mark Phillips, who's also covering the Platinum Jubilee. Mark, now we talked about this birthday parade, trooping the color and kicking off this Platinum Jubilee. But once again, explain the significance of this moment. Well, the, the significance is a very simple one. It's never happened before. No monarch has ever reigned this long in more than a thousand years of British royal history involving you know, the, the Windsors and the various uh, dynasties that, that preceded them. The closest would have been Victoria. She's been surpassed. There's going to be noise there in a second. There we go. <laughs> and the, uh, the, 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 the amusingly, in a, in a way, the, the, this surpasses all royal records here. But in terms of the overall yeah. world royal record, that's still held by Louis the Fourteenth of France. She's got two years to go to hit that, hit that, and I bet you can get a pretty good bet at the bookies that she will. Now we we see the queen on the balcony. Um, she, she won't be watching the troops, reviewing the troops in person. But her grandchildren, her children, will be standing in her place. What does that mean? Well, this, this what we're. What we're looking at here is what they're called the trimmed down royals, the working royals. Obviously missing uh, is Prince Andrew, who's been disgraced because of his association with Jeffrey Epstein. Obviously missing are Harry and Meghan because of their decision not to be working royals anymore. Getting the fly pass now that you see of the Red Arrows, which is the Royal Air Force ceremonial flight. 
dreaming appropriately in red, white, and blue, and that will be the, the end of this flight pass. For me, I don't know if you saw it, the, the best part of it is the World War II flight, the old Lancasters and Spitfires and Hurricanes, but leave that aside for a minute. Anyway, what you're seeing on the balcony is this kind of working royal, and what we're witnessing is a process of a gradual trimming down for mm. reasons having to do with family, but also for reasons for having to do with the role of the royals in this country, a process that will continue, whatever that happens, knock on wood, under uh, under the next uh, monarch, who of course will be Prince Charles. But um, with the anthem's now going. This has been a pretty rousing start <laughs> and, a, and a pretty okay. lucky day to have it in here. I'll hand it back All to right. you. I think so, too. I'm so glad it did not rain on the Queen's Parade. Holly, let's go back to you because you're on the parade route. With You've been talking to the people all morning. I'm so fascinated by the numbers that have turned out, the way they've camped out for several days. They just wanted to be a part of this. Explain why the Queen is so beloved in that country. Oh, it's such a good question. You know, people here are really excited. It's a big show of patriotism. A lot of people flying the, the Union Jack, which we don't you know, see that much of in this country. I think it's so interesting when you think about the change that she's been through. When she ascended the throne, this country was still mired in post-war uh, poverty. It was an overwhelmingly white country, um, and it was still very much defined by the class system. And fast forward 70 years, this is a country that's embraced uh, multiculturalism. It's a country, it's very much a, a modern society, and the class system doesn't define people in the same way that it does. And yet she, who hasn't changed very much, is still overwhelmingly popular, um, loved by her people, and seen as relevant. Uh, Holly, we see some movement in the crowd behind you. Uh, before I ask you what that movement might be, I just have to point out that the uh, little uh, Prince George, uh, Will and Kate's youngest uh, child, uh, I think stole the show on that balcony. I know it's the Queen's Jubilee, but he was there. Uh, yeah, that covering... was Louis. Louis's the youngest one. Louis's the youngest one. Yeah, Louis's the youngest one. George, it's George, Charlotte, and then Louis. Oh, that was of course. Little, Louis. little Louis. The middle child, little, little, little Louis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very sweet there, covering his yes. ears when the jets yeah. are flying over. And then pointing a little bit, and then yeah. you know it's only a five-minute ceremony, but he's already getting tired. You know, he's already, <laughs> How much longer is this going to go on? Yeah. yeah, very, very, very sweet. But that, you know, Holly, that's part of what I, I think. The, if I understand it correctly, the British public yeah, the is interested British in the whole right. family dynamic, all the personalities, all the quirks. Uh, that's it. I mean, it, it, it's it's about them as a true family. Uh, but I do see the movement behind you in the crowd. Uh, what's next on the schedule today? I think people are uh, moving down towards uh, a Buckingham Palace. As I understand it, what's next on this schedule is this family lunch that will be inside Buckingham Palace uh, for members of the royal family. And then later on today, there's going to be a, a lighting of beacons uh, around this country, very sort of symbolic event. Um, and that will be led by Prince William here at Buckingham Palace and the Queen at one of her other residences, Windsor Castle. All right. Holly Williams and Mark Phillips for us uh, in London. Thank you to you both. Uh, we'll check in later.